YouTube what's going on today so I had a whole video plan we're gonna be starting a new grind here on YouTube yes you heard me new grind we're not kicking the elk to the back burner elk's gonna stay a thing we're just gonna kind of break up the content but that new video is now on the back burner you can see that next week or whenever I decide to post it because EW decided to sprinkle a little greatness for us greatness as in yes new great one and new map so this video here is going to kind of dive into everything that Jaxie talked about yesterday on the EW stream. Um, and then next week on the uh, the EW stream over on Twitch, they're going to be uh, doing some actual gameplay and hunting and everything. And a few other little things announced as well. But we got a good chunk of stuff to cover today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. You never get tired of that view. With the colors of the autumn leaves and the Appalachian Mountains, there's no other place quite like it. Welcome to New England Mountains. Okay, so as y'all just seen, the teaser trailer, yes, we are going to New England, the New England Mountains and the Granite Update. Um, so it's kind of looking like an appearance of, um, in my opinion, Leighton and Hirschfelden, just because of how thick it is, which y'all will see here. I got the stream playing in the background. Um, and then it's going to be in the, set in the Appalachian Mountains, um, in the southern parts of Spain, a little bit down into like Vermont area. Um, if you know exactly where that's at, then you know. Um, so there is going to be a new great one. The great one is going to be a moose. EW finally listened to the community. We are getting a great one moose. I'm so excited. So they've told us that it's going to be five different variations of the fur type. Um, they haven't released them yet or anything like that. So five different variations. Uh, there's going to be three great ones on this map. So it's going to be the whitetail, the moose, and the black bear. Another thing they made sure to point out was there's not going to be any full map reset. So you don't have to worry about losing your current grind that you have. There's no full map resets, although there are some animal resets, which I'm going to cover. Um, I just want to point out this loading screen right here with the great one on it. Mint. Absolutely love it. It looks phenomenal. So I sh I'm sure that you're wondering what exactly is this granite update that they keep speaking of or that you've heard of. So the main thing that's going to be coming is going to be for you next-gen console players, so PS5 and Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. Y'all are getting 60 FPS. Yes, 60 FPS, so it's not going to be all grainy looking and everything like that. It's going to be solid gameplay. All you last-gen consoles, I'm sorry, it's not coming to y'all, unfortunately. But next-gen console, it is. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering, what is the animal listing for New England? All right, I have it. Full breakdown. I'm going to throw pictures up on the screen as well. Um, I'm referencing my notes here. I took a lot of notes looking at the rewatching the VOD and everything because I didn't think about it uh, as I was watching the stream that, you know, I should probably do this. But here we are. So we're getting the ringneck pheasant, the white-tailed deer, the moose, the black bear, the gray fox, and the red fox, the eastern turkey, bobwhite quail, the golden eye, the mallard, green wing teal, which I believe is going to be a new species, like added to the game, but I'm not sure though. Um, the eastern cottontail rabbit, the common raccoon, the coyote, and the bobcat so i'm assuming that they're going to kind of do with the bobcat like they did with the mountain lion and the puma so it's the same animal just different name so i'm assuming that's what they're going to do so the mexican bobcat is just going to be like a regular bobcat but in new england another huge thing that they talked about that i'm so excited for like super super excited for is going to be some animal additions to current maps now so they're taking some of the animals that we've been requesting or they feel need to be added to the current maps that we have in the game right now. And they're going to be making those maps even better. So I've got the list. Let's dive into it. So 
my favorite one, the biggest one that I am super, super, super excited about. Blacktail are going to be added to Silver Ridge Peaks. Yes, Blacktail are heading to Silver Ridge Peaks. I can't wait. I've been wanting a Diamond Blacktail, and I just don't want to hunt Layton because of the brush and just the the time that they drink. It's just, I don't want to do it. So, Blacktail to Silver Ridge Peaks. Let's go. Next is going to be, we're getting pheasants on two maps. Hirschfelden and Quattro Kalinas. Then we're getting the Canadian Goose on Yukon. The Miriam Turkey to Layton. So we're actually going to have some other type of bird to hunt while in Layton. It's no longer just going to be the Mallards. We're actually going to have the Miriam Turkey as well. We're getting Gray Wolves and Capricali on Medved. I'm super excited about the Gray Wolves being there. Uh, Capricali just kind of, eh, whatever. But the Gray Wolves getting added, that is a huge plus. They had spoke about Verhunga getting an animal. Um, there was two different ones that was thrown out, but um, Jaxi said he is going to confirm with next week's stream on what exactly is getting added to Verhunga. One that was mentioned, though, that I, I'm super excited about, and I hope it's true, is the Greater Kudu. Um, coming to Parquet is going to be the Eurasian Teal and the Collared Peccary. Both were mentioned uh, I'm not sure if both are like dead set for certain yet, but both were mentioned. So I'm sure we'll hear about that in next week's stream as well on which one or if both are actually coming to Parquet. They're going to be adding Mallard Ducks to Teawara. Pronghorns to Rancho. So you're no longer only going to be able to hunt them on Silver Ridge, which is kind of eh, whatever. But they're adding more to Rancho. So you can hunt pronghorns on Rancho now, which is super cool. Okay, so we're getting some waterfowl added to Mississippi finally. Yes, Mississippi is finally getting some waterfowl. From what I've he I heard him say, it was going to be the green wing teal, which I'm assuming whenever they say the green wing teal, they're meaning the Eurasian teal, but I don't know. Um, from the sounds of it, it could possibly be a new duck, but at the same time, it could also be the teal that we already have in the game. Okay, so with this new update, we're getting some animal reworks as well, um, along with the additions and everything to each map. So obviously, moose, they're going to get a full rework, um, full reset and everything, just because that is the new great one. If you didn't hear me say it already, yes, the moose is the new great one. Another huge thing with the moose, they're changing up their behavior, right? So no longer are we going to go to a lake and spook them off. Moose are going to be aggressive now. So you can 100% run up to a lake and get bulldozed over by a huge bull moose. I cannot wait for that. I'm super excited for that. Uh, Whitetail is going to be getting a rework. Um, I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing, but beefing them up, making them look better, possibly some new rack variations are going to be coming to the game. Maybe some new great one rack variations. That would be super cool. Maybe even some fur types for the, the great one as well. So... A lot of stuff is up in the air as to what exactly the whitetail is getting, but that's all we know currently. Another rework that we're going to be getting is the bighorn sheep. So yes, they're going to go in, they're going to they're going to make the bighorn sheep look better, beef it up a little bit, maybe mess with the the curls on the antlers or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be doing, but I'm super excited for it because I absolutely love me some bighorn sheep. Um, I will also talk about them here in a second when it comes to some other stuff that's going to be going on with bighorn sheep. So. Stand by for that. And then another rework that we're going to be getting is the Red Fox. So they're going to go through. It's a long-weighted uh, rework. They're going to be messing with the, the fur, everything like that. They're going to make it look so much better, and I cannot wait. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything that they're going to be reworking yet, but hopefully next week in EW Stream, that is what is going to be covered or possibly even get a sneak peek of some of the stuff. Okay, so with the animal resets, I've already talked about the moose because that's the new great one, so obviously we can't have anyone starting a great one grind at this point uh when the map hasn't even come out the the update hasn't come out so moose are getting a full reset from the get-go um iberian mouflon over on quattro they're going to be getting a full reset the mountain lions on silver ridge peaks are getting a reset so they're going in they're adjusting their drink time so they're no longer going to be drinking with the black bears so those of y'all that want to grind a black bear great one on silver ridge which i wanted to but wink wink we're not going to be doing that, so stay tuned uh, for future videos on where it is we could possibly be grinding for a Black Bear Great One. 
Um, but their drink zone time is now going to be midnight to 3 a.m. So it'll be at the tail end of Black Bear drink time. So, I mean, you could have a little bit of run in, but not much. Uh, the Lynx on Medvet are going to be getting a new drink zone time. And then the Bighorn Sheep on Rancho are going to be getting a new drink time. So two new drink times coming for the Lynx and the Bighorn Sheep, which is going to be pretty good. I haven't really hunted either one that much um, during drink zone time. But, I mean, they're getting a new one. So, okay, so with this new update, they are giving us a brand new gun. If you look on the screen behind me, you're going to see it is going to be the Kerman 50 caliber inline muzzle loader. So it's a more modern muzzle loader um, that you can get no longer um, having to use the old like steel balls or anything like that. It takes an actual round essentially. Um, still a single shot. So you're not getting a not getting a bolt action muzzle or anything like that. But there's new ammo, like I said, and then there's also you can use all of your modern scopes on it. So you can run around with the Argus, the Hyperion, any of the other scopes you want. You no longer are bound to that one single muzzleloader scope, which I'm super, super excited about. Okay, so you don't have to save up your money or anything like that. It comes free with the purchase of the New England Mountains map. So that is one huge plus. Okay, so right here we have the 50 caliber muzzleloader. We've got him shooting it. Um, it's super cool. I mean, look at it. So it's got the traditional muzzleloader smoke, big old smoke pole. There you go. He's pulling the primer out. And then here comes him loading the black powder. And then that's that new weapon or new ammo type that I was talking about. So like I said, still single shot. So it's going to take you a while to, uh, to reload this thing. But, and you can see here, throwing a new primer in, boom. Good to go. I can't wait to use this thing. Okay, so with the addition of the 50 caliber uh, muzzleloader, there's one thing on here that I'm super, super excited about. And you're going to see it in the background here. But there's now going to be gun customization in Call of the Wild. So you're going to be getting new camos, paints, wraps, different materials. Um, you can now show there's a new weapon screen, which you'll see here in one second. Let me fast forward. So boom, right here, this is the new weapon screen. So you can actually come in, show off your weapons. And here on the left-hand side, you can see all of the, the sprays and materials and everything like that. So you got different colors for different maps. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right behind Jack, so you can see the maps kind of changing. There's different camos. Um, the different materials is like the different wood stain colors and stuff like that. So I'm super, super excited about this. Um, so what you're going to be doing in order to get your gun customization is you can use your in-game credits. So as you can see, Jaxi has 57,800. Um, and all you have to do for this wrap right here is 4,500 credits. Boom, slap it on your gun. Away you go. And then you can also display it in this really, really cool weapon screen if they have. One thing that's really cool they're doing with this update. So as soon as you update the uh the game you get one free camo and one free paint for your rifle so free of charge there you go slap it on your gun get out there you can start saving up from there and then i mean just look at this weapon screen this is awesome this is one thing that i really have wanted in the hunter call of the wild but unfortunately we have we had to wait until now to get it but i mean it's super super awesome i cannot wait to do this and show this off so any videos that y'all may um, have questions about on what gun it is I'm using, I could start the start the video off with this or even on my TikToks or my streams. Y'all ask, hey, what gun are you using? Boom, take you into the screen. This is what I'm using. These are the camos that I have on it. If you want to match my gun, here you go. So this right here, he's approaching this very first um, outpost and stuff. And I mean, you can just kind of see the map. Like they really went in and did a lot of like trimming of uh, trimming of trees and stuff. So like making really good shooting lanes just from what we can see. Now, next week's EW stream is going to be a lot more in depth with like the gameplay, the hunting and everything like that, how the map looks. So super excited to see that and just kind of see what this map has to offer. This is uh, the, the only outpost they showed. So you can come in here. Um, I could show you all this 
and then here he is claiming it and then on the inside i don't know if i actually saved that portion of the stream on the inside there's no um like weapons cache outside or inside i mean it is inside but it's not like your traditional like gun locker gun safe looking thing in the game it's actually as soon as you go in you turn left and it's got the gun cases on the bottom and as of right now there is no date set for when this is released but you can go on to steam um, xbox playstation any of that and you can add this to your wish list so as soon as it drops you can make the purchase the purchase is only going to be six seven dollars is what jaxie said um, so it's not going to be crazy expensive but if you want this for free make sure you join our discord we are going to be hosting monthly discord tournaments and the winner of each month gets a free dlc or a ten dollar gift card um, to their store of choosing so steam psn xbox so on and so forth um, if you want to do that please 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 join the discord i have a section in my discord that shows all the rules how it's going to work, so on and so forth. And if you have any questions, please, by all means, ask me. Ask me, ask me, ask me, because I'm super, super excited for this. Now, that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. This is a new type of video that I have I haven't done yet. So if you all enjoy like the EW updates, stuff like that, please let me know. I can push those out a lot more. Um, but super, super, super excited for the announcement of the new map, the new update, and the new Great One Moose. So you already know they're going to be grinding it. Um, we're in the middle right now of Great One Grind number four on stream right now. We actually just spawned in Great One number three. We're stacking him on the map on Reventuli, and we're trying to get that fourth Great One so that way we can complete the huddle. Hopefully we can have it completed before they release the new Great One Moose. That way we can go straight into grinding for it. Super, super excited. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know anything that y'all would like um, in the videos or anything of that nature. Hop over to Twitch, follow us there. And then uh, by all means, y'all have a great day. Appreciate you stopping by. Till next time, peace.